Hello everyone, today at Crocheting Content I'm going to show you this beautiful, now, bread spread, coverlet or bed blanket. Which one is it? Did I make it? No, my mom made it and she made it as a gift for my sister. And I think last time I was at her place, she said that the one panel wasn't connected and she asked would I be able to fix it. And I thought, you know what, let's have a try. Now, let me show you this square. So it is made out of those huge squares, as you can see, it's like almost my body. I think one day someone can change that for like a, a garment. So you can see how beautiful it is. And there are three over here and one, two, three, four, five down. So pretty. I think in the end I'm going to show you how I fixed that thing. I had 3.5 millimeter hook. I don't have any sets of hooks that would be smaller than that. I think I have from three millimeters up from the Knit Pro, I think, and they were and they are from the sets for Tunisian crochet, crochet. Therefore, I think I got one hook once from a friend in the Happy Mail, and that's, I think, 3.5 millimeter needles, and that's what I used. In regards to the yarn, so this is cotton, and it's quite a good cotton, because I know my sister has it for a while, and it, it has that softness in it, to be honest, so maybe it's not fully 100%, or maybe there's some acrylic in it, I don't really know, but lately, I showed you my my coverlet, right? So on the screen over here, and maybe in the eye over here, you can check it out later on. And another one lately that I shared in regards to crochet is my wedding dress and on the screen. And that's definitely 100% cotton because it feels like cotton and it doesn't bounce or anything like that. What about this? Do we have any bounce? You see, we do. I don't know. And probably my mom doesn't know that either. Right, mom? <laughs> But it's beautiful and I'm not sure and I love it and gives you that vintage vibe. So if you would want to have um, something nice in your room, this would be it. If you're in a vintage fashion style thing going on, even like a cover for a sofa or something, it would be really, really cool. I think without further ado, I'm going to present you short footage, how I fix this. I know you have seen that beautifully fixed, but this is what I forgot to fix. And you can see that the first things what I need to do is to untangle all this. <laughs> right, so let's analyze what this yarn was used for. So basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to stretch over here and see what we have over here and what we're missing. This trowel contains with the squares and the square finish with this beautiful um, border which are connected over here. And you may think that they're separately connected, um, but actually what I think happens, well, I'm looking, I'm trying to figure out. So what you do, you try to compare each piece to each other and see what is the difference between this one and this one. And eventually I found out that over here we have kind of first level and then we have a second and over here the same first and second. So on this side you can see that we have the first and the second and over here we have just the first. We don't have that second option. So this yarn should be to create those extra crochet stitches to create it and connect it all. Will I have enough? I'm not sure. I have 3.5 millimeter needle, but I think that it's too big. I'll see if I have smaller, although I may not have it, so let's see. Hopefully you can see it. Um, I have just two of those towers, let's say, out of those, the out of those four. And then I should be adding uh, this part uh, to my section. So hopefully you can see it. I have four over here and I'm missing another four. Now, when I'm fixing it, and I don't have the hook the same size as it should be, and also it looks slightly different, I will be just trying to make sure that I have enough yarn 
to finish to finish this piece. Okay, so I just did two chains, connected two chains, then I did those four, I call it towers, <laughs> and then I think I will be adding, um, I will be joining another square. Well, <laughs> it does the job. <laughs> it's not so pretty, but it's working, and a little bit I'm afraid I may not have enough. Now let's compare how it is finished. So at the end of the day, we have kind of longer loop. So I think I'm just going to do a chain connected to each other and then finish here. I think so. So. Okay, have you seen it? I hope you did. I'm trying to find the place that I was connecting it together. And this is it. You could probably see they're not the same and I run out of the thing, the yarn, and I have this little bit over here that it's missing a piece. But I think, you know what, overall it's quite good. There are, this quite unusual, this is quite unusual crochet technique, I would say. It doesn't give you a chain, so you're not creating chains, you're creating like a columns over here, so it's so beautiful. And actually it looks, and actually it looks the same on both sides. So I'm not, I'm not sure which is wrong, which is wrong and which is the right side. Let me know down below. Have you crocheted any blankets or anything like that? And what was your favorite pattern that you've done? Uh, maybe something for beginners. And if you're advanced, let me know in regards to those kind of squarey things. I would really want to know. And probably whoever is watching it, I would tell you go and check comments. That's it. I hope you enjoyed this one. Two videos on the screen, so pick it up. The next one you would want to see. Don't forget to check the eye. And I hope you subscribe, like, for more knitting and crocheting inspirations. Till the next one. Bye.